Number 11! Can I be lucky? Probably not! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Salosia is up next, one of the smallest colossus in the game. And also one of the most fierce because we're waging a direct combat with this stinker right head on here off the bat and I'm gonna duck into the corner immediately if I can <laughs> all right so yeah you want to get over here and get it to slam into this as quickly as you possibly can because it's time attack and that's how things roll in time attack come on slam into here give myself a little torch there we go I wanted to jump off there so I can grab the torch ASAP. Oh no! <laughs> that's uh, that's oh shoot. Oh, okay, um, that's that's not good. I got turned around. I end up falling down that crack, and I don't have that time to waste. <laughs> so yeah, all I want to do here, right off the bat, is get that torch in my possession, light it, and then lead it off the edge as quickly as possible. Hopefully, it'll go nice. Nice and smooth. There we go. Alright, slam into that one more time, please. Because that actually stuns you a little bit when you do that. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I was hoping that you would slam. But I jumped a little bit early. That's okay. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Come on, let's get up there. Right. Okay, that's where that works. Grab, grab, grab. Grab. And upsy doodle. <laughs> No time to waste. It's got a light. Shoot, there we go, that worked. Alright, now it's gonna be scared, and now we gotta lead it over to that side with the cliff. And hopefully we'll be able to do this without the torch running out of steam, because sometimes the torch just doesn't quite make it to the end, and then I'm ending up running over to one of the other ones. But I think I'll have enough time to pull it off, even if I don't have it on this particular uh, lighting, I guess you could say. But we'll see, we'll see. And then I got an alternate strategy on how to defeat this beast, uh, which may or may not be faster. i just like to show you what you can do on this. So yeah, it falls off the end, and then its back armor comes off, revealing its weak spot. Now what you want to do here, if you want to try this strategy, is uh, get your bow... And from up here on this ledge, you are going to try and shoot it from up here. Just just one shot will do. And do it quickly, though, because time's a-wasting. <laughs> and then what you want to do after that is, uh, once you wake it up with that arrow, you want to go over to the back end of this, I guess you could say, to speed things along. Because it's going to come all the way back around here to attack you, and it's not going to be happy. I should get my sword out here first. And upsy up, upsy doodle, and now we wait. So it's going to come probably around that way. I think that's the only way in here, actually. So yeah, let's just wait, and wait for it to slam its face in here. Here it comes, and it's ticked. And it's going to slam in here, which I'm going to take advantage of by jumping on its back. And that's how I do it in time attack. Well, kind of. I mean, I guess I could have did it the other way by jumping down to it from, you know, from up above to get on its back. Maybe a little bit sooner. But I, I feel that this area up here is, because it's more enclosed, it, it confuses it more and makes it stop a lot more. Which gives me more opportunities to stab at the sucker. But, you know, it's... It's RNG. <laughs> RNG in a nutshell. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We can do this. It just shakes a whole lot, and I don't like that. Because that, that can ruin your runs if it shakes way too much for your own good. Ah! Yeah! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Come on. Yeah! Yes! Alright... Oh, 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 shoot. No, 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 no. Ah! Oh, jeez, we're close. We are really close. Oh, man, I can't believe we're this close. <laughs> oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Mm, yes! Oh, yeah! Nice and quick, the way I like it. <laughs> now, as, 
Now, the reason why I thought it was a little bit faster to do it in here rather than do the whole rigmarole while it's running around the area is because it seems to do a lot of charging and it seems to always want to come back here anyway. So, I just figured, let's wake it up, lead it back over here, and maybe that's faster. I'm not sure if it is or not. Uh, but it worked! And that's all I can ask for, right? Right! So now, after defeating another two Colossus, we got ourselves yet another new item to our arsenal at the Pond of Refreshingness. Yes, that's what I'm calling it. <laughs> oh, 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 on a roll, please. Roll with me, Wonder. Roll with me. And, oh, 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 oh there we go. What do I get this time? What do I get this time? Tell me, Dorman. That is the Lizard Detection Stone. By using it, thou shalt be able to find the lizards throughout the world. There's a lizard right above there in the cutscene. <laughs> so I'll be able to show that right away, won't I? <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so we go in there, item, lizard detection stone, oh, look at that, we got lizards on the map now, but they only really show in the general vicinity, like, of where you are, like, you know there's way, way more lizards in the world for, uh, yeah, <laughs> to be seeked out. So, when you, whenever you see something like that, it is... I mean, whenever you're looking for lizards, you gotta be within the general vicinity to be able to see them. That was, that was me talking about that way, way too much. <laughs> now, uh, as I was mentioning in the walkthrough, when you get this sort of map upgrade type thing, I think I mentioned that before, <laughs> um, what you're able to do is once you kill off a lizard, I guess I might as well show you here, uh, where is that dome type area. I'm not nearly on. Oh, there it is. I'm, I am directly on there, but I can't shoot at what's in there. Whenever you kill a lizard off, it should disappear from your map, but you have to actually kill it along with getting... Is that where it is? Is that where... It sure looked like it. that's where it was. Um, where is that stinker? <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Yeah! Did I get it? Did I get it? Is victory mine? I do believe it is. So yeah, I'll then we go up back to the map, see the lizard's gone from the map. And that's how it works. It's like a checklist that you could see as you go along here, um, you know, as you wander around the map. So when you have this, what I recommend you do is go to the lizard locations, go kill it off, then go then just move on to the next Colossus, like say we're going all the way to uh number six somewhere around over there. We just keep checking the stone along the way, they keep checking the stone, you know, you'd keep pausing it to see the map, and then you'd see lizards along the way as you'd go. And that's basically what I was doing, uh, you know, set, to set up the walkthrough paths and whatnot, was I was setting up um, where I would like to go on my way to each Colossus, if at all possible, besides, you know, the side routes that I had to take to get stuff, like, near the edge of the earth. Like, if you remember, there was a lot of lizards way at the bottom right corner of the map there around the G and H sector. Uh, well, may actually, maybe more towards the H sector than anything. But yeah, anyway, I'm babbling here. I defeated the Colossus. I'm happy. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next parts.